North Texans are watching the night sky at this hour for a celestial event unseen for 800 years. CBS 11's JD Miles joins us live from Plano, uh, where uh, the grand junction of Jupiter and Saturn, it's already underway, JD. <laughs> Ken, what some are calling the Christmas star is lighting up the sky here in Plano. It appeared just before six and remains visible above the southwest horizon. You can even see, if you look closely, one of the moons of Jupiter around it. This is a rare celestial phenomena that hasn't been seen in centuries. They've been inching closer in the sky each night over the past few months. Tonight, Jupiter and Saturn will look like one planet, creating a special holiday season light show visible to the naked eye. Jupiter moves faster because it's closer to the sun, and it's catching up with Saturn. And so we will see them together in the sky. Because those are the brightest planets of the solar system, because Jupiter is the largest one, and the second, uh, the, the Saturn is the second largest planet, uh, their telescopic view is always great. It was nearly 800 years ago, in the year 1226, when this last happened during the evening hours. The fact that it's happening on the first day of winter and so close to Christmas makes it extra special to a lot of stargazers. After the year we've had, some look at this as a symbol of hope, while some worry it's a doomsday sign. Astronomers say there was a similar conjunction in the year 7 BC, which has some Christians believing this is the star of Bethlehem. It is possible, though, that the Christmas star that's referenced in the biblical texts is a reference to an astronomical event because it may have been significant to astrologers. And at that time, people known as wise men, uh, like they're described in the Bible, would most likely have been astrologers. Now again, you don't have to get out of the city lights or use a telescope to see this. It's visible with the naked eye, but only for another hour or two before it disappears below the horizon. If you miss this big, rare astronomical event, you can make your plans to watch it again when it comes back in 2080. Live in Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.